Hey everybody, it's not often we get an update from Unknown Worlds, the creators behind Subnautica, but today, just as I was getting off work, I noticed there's a new trailer for Subnautica 2. We already had Below Zero, that was a bit of a treat, especially with the VR mod. The original Subnautica was great, they had an actual VR branch. I see this and I think, I'm actually weeping to myself now, I have not looked at the trailer, we're gonna watch it live. Live. <laughs> Baked video live. And I'm going to just give you my reactions to it. I can even see almost hints of the original artwork in this image as we as we dive in. Now, what is this? Some kind of mammoth Reaper Leviathan? Or I don't know what this is, but like, look down. Hang on. I don't know how this browser thingy works. Look at this. Look at this team here. See these guys? Okay, so first off, multiplayer. Multiplayer. That's why there's two of them, right? That's got to be multiplayer. So multiplayer, cool, colorful, underwater sea creatures, underwater horrors. That's what I'm getting from this image. This is the stock image from their website. So let's go to the trailer. Let's go to the trailer. All right, here we go. Everybody ready? If you don't bring VR support, I'm coming for you. <laughs> I mean, come on. It's the fucking scariest VR game. Maybe next to Madison. Ooh, in the abyss. Ooh, the fishies that I love. Oh, this is going to be one of those CGI trailers. I'm a little disappointed. Oopsie doopsie. Uh oh. Down you go. All right, what's happening? Uh oh, not the snaky thing. Do they have the sna no the snaky thing? It's back. Oh no, it's not. It's some. It's some chick. Some ladies like, hey, what's up? I was looking for the man of my dreams. I just needed him to sink down into the abyss where I am. I have a feeling that maybe she's like a mes. Is it called a mesmer? The one that like pretends to be your friend and then just eats your your bollocks or something. Anyway, we're halfway through already. We've gone down a hole. All right, let's see what the rest has in store here. Teaser trailer. Uh-oh. That's not a good sign. Uh-oh, what's that sound? Okay, logo is sick. Coming. 2025. Damn it. But see, look who it's coming to. It's It's got Epic Store, it's got Steam, it's got Xbox Game Pass. Oh no, it's Xbox. <laughs> that means not VR support there. Uh, will the Steam build maybe have a VR branch? I hope so. They're gonna fucking break my heart, though. They're gonna absolutely break my heart. I just I can feel it because they abandoned on their previous project. They're like, no, never mind. VR is too difficult. Fuck it. But it's the best thing. Volumetric underwater terror. There's nothing better than that. Like, wake up, wake up, dev team. VR, VR support. You have to look at the No Man's Sky team. There's no way Light No Fire is not coming out without VR support. There's no way. There's no way. Anyway, so let's see if there's any other details on their blog or whatever. Uh, so this says, Subnautica 2, early access coming in 2025. We're thrilled today to unveil the first teaser trailer and announce we'll be heading into early access in 2025. I mean, it's a cool trailer. Good production value. Definitely nice. They're definitely good at that now. Store pages are now live, and you can wishlist Subnautica 2 on Steam, Epic, and Xbox. Our goal has always been to bring in early access to as many of our community as possible, and we're excited to develop Subnautica 2 from the start alongside more of you than ever before. Keen eyed Subnauts might have noticed that we're given our profiles across the web a bit of an update. See if you can uncover all the new details. Some are a little easier to spot than others. And if you wanted to speculate about everything we revealed, there's a new Discord channel. Just head on over. Uh, we're keen to, to... It's gotta be multiplayer! They show several different divers. This is definitely a multiplayer game. Plus it's the number two, so, you know, that's two people. Um, I think I think this is... That's a pretty slam dunk guess. 
There's new big bad monsters. Um, did they say anything else? We want your Subnautica 2 questions. At the start of the year, we shared a few details about Subnautica 2. Wow. Well, I didn't know about that. Let's have a look. A few details about Subnautica 2. You have many questions. No spoilers. All right, well, let's see. What what, what are they saying? I, ne I never saw this, so... Uh, what do they say? Early access is not intended for release in 24, but we plan to share a lot more information later this year. In reference to games as a service, we plan to continually update the game for many years to come, just like the previous two games. Think our early access update model expanded. No season passes, no battle passes, no subscription. The game is not multiplayer focused. Co-op will be entirely optional to play the game. You'll be able to enjoy the game as a single player. Cool. All right, well, that's good. So basically they're making a single player game with the ability to swim with your buddy, which I hope they bring in something smart and material because I certainly want, let's see what they have in the careers section. Who are they hiring for? Art, business ops, and game dev. Okay. Pretty good. All right, what did you think about the uh, Subnautica update? That's the Subnautica 2 Steam page. Immerse yourself in a new adventure with Subnautica 2, an open water survival game from the creators of the Subnautica series. Oh, hang on. Let's look at these. Let, look at these photos. Okay, so this one is two people swimming underwater with speed stripes. Naruto knows that that's important. That's all right. Those gl the, the, the gloves or whatever look interesting. So they're, they're a little bit better than having to put both your hands and fixate on an underwater submersible thing. That fish looks like a weird-ish. I love their weird fish. Their weird fish is great. This is such a cool thing. Um, this is really a good, good way to go. Download full-size version. I'm okay. What's this? Some kind of a crab and some kind of mechanism here. Okay. The mask is back. Mask HUD. Okay, that looks downright nasty with like things that look like orange and blue sharks underwater okay i see a hand there so you can high five the shark fins and then finally you've got some longish fish that look like a barracuda uh in some very cool like coral reef structures yep definitely a uh a subnautica vibe here um cool is there anything else here unknown worlds publishers craft on Craft Cheese would like to publish your game. It's going to come out in English with full audio and then subtitles in a bunch of languages. And they've got all kinds of stuff. Explore with friends and online co-op and multiplayer. Let me zoom in into this because it's a little bit small for you. That's not the one. There we are. Underwater survival game. Your ship's AI insists you carry on the mission. The world is too dangerous for humans to survive unless you change what it means to be human. Okay, play alone or with up to up to three friends in online multiplayer co-op. Whether exploring ruins, building custom bases, or adventuring deep into the world, the challenge of this planet will test your ingenuity and ability to adapt in unexpected and curious ways. Okay, craftable submersibles. They're bringing in the flashlight. Uh, they've, got, they've got other advanced tools. And I think that's about it. New biomes. Cool, cool. Something in the world is out of balance. What happened? What happened to you? More, more importantly, what happened? Yeah. Survive terrifying depths. Yep. Uh, traces its roots back to the 2002 Half-Life mod natural selection. I didn't know that. No wonder it's so creepy and awesome. We've got US, UK, France, Iceland, Canada, India, Austria, Australia. Devs all around the world. Okay, you may encounter bugs. And development features and performance issues. Just like the first games. Well, to be honest, I look forward to playing it. I hope they bloody bring VR mode. Because I will be very disappointed if they don't. Um, to be honest, because honestly, they're a cool studio, they make great stuff, and all I want is to live in that Subnautica world. So, that's it for the moment. Thanks for watching as usual. See you down under.